an introduction to the power of prayer. In this sacred journey of faith, prayer stands as a profound bridge between the finite and the infinite, a direct line of communication with the creator of the universe. This is a spiritual conversation, a heart-to-heart -heart connection with the Almighty, where our deepest thoughts, our deepest desires, and our fears can find solace in His presence. The Bible, the timeless guide of our spiritual existence, resonates with verses that emphasize the significance of prayer, revealing God's desires for communion with His children. In the Bible, Matthew 7, 7 says, Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened this verse from the Gospel of Matthew underscores the simplicity and the accessibility of prayer. God invites us to approach Him with our needs and desires, assuring us that our requests will not fall on deaf ears. It's an open invitation to engage in a dialogue with the One who holds the key to every door in our lives. Philippians 4 verses 6 through 7 says, Be not anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving present your request to God. And the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your heart and your mind in Jesus Christ. In the epistle to the Philippians, the Apostle Paul encourages believers to bring every concern before God through prayer. The promise woven into these words is profound, an exchange of anxiety for the peace that surpasses all understanding. It's an affirmation of the transformative power of prayer in the face of life's uncertainties. In First Theologians 5 verses 6 through 18, it says, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks to all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Jesus Christ. The Apostle Paul's counsel to the theologians echoes through time, emphasizing not only the frequency, but the altitude of prayer. Prayer is not merely a task to be checked off, but a continuous conversation, a lifeline connecting us to the divine. In these verses we find an acknowledgement of God's will for us, a life marked by rejoicing, a life marked by continual prayer, a life marked by gratitude. As we embark on this journey of prayer, let us remember that it is a privilege bestowed upon us by a loving Father who desires our fellowship. It is an invitation to lay bare our hearts, knowing that we are heard, knowing that we are understood, and knowing that we are deeply loved. In the realm of prayer, we find not only requests, but a profound relationship with God who eagerly awaits our communion. May our hearts be open, our spirits receptive, as we delve into the transformative power of prayer. A sacred dialogue that transcends time brings us closer to the heart of God.
The Importance of Prayer In the tapestry of human existence, prayer emerges as the golden thread that weaves together the fabric of our communication with the Divine. The Bible, a timeless reservoir of wisdom and guidance, resounds with the importance of prayer as a profound means of communication between humanity and God. It is through prayer that we enter into a sacred dialogue, a communication that transcends the boundaries of the tangible world. One scripture that resonates with the significance of prayer is found in Philippians 4 verses 6 and 7, where the Apostle Paul implores believers, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God that transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Jesus Christ. This verse illuminates the transformative power of prayer, inviting us to cast our burdens upon the divine and find solace in the peace that surpasses human comprehension. Your power display. Another testament to the divine invitation to pray is nestled in Jeremiah 29, 12. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. Here, the prophet Jeremiah unveils the promise that God eagerly anticipates our prayers, assuring us that when we approach him with sincerity, and humility, our petitions will be met with an attentive ear of a loving Creator. The Gospel of Matthew further reinforces the call to prayer in Matthew 7, 7, 8, where Jesus himself declares, ask and it will be given to you, seek and you will find, Knock and the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks receives. The one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. These words echo with the resounding assurance that God not only invites us to pray, but delights in responding to the heartfelt pleas of his children. As we reflect on these scriptures, the call to action resounds with clarity. Today, in the midst of life's challenges and triumphs, let us embark on a journey of prayer. Let us heed the biblical invitation to bring our hopes, fears, and dreams before the Creator who eagerly awaits our communion. Take a moment each day to engage in a prayer, a sacred conversation that transcends time and space. In the silence of your heart, present your desires, express your gratitude, and surrender your anxieties. Embrace the transformative power of prayer, and as you do, witness the unfolding of divine grace and the peace that surpasses all understanding. The invitation is extended. The promise is sure. Start praying today. God has a plan for you. In the beginning, God created the heaven and earth, forming a perfect world where he could manifest his divine plan. In this plan, each one of us is intrinsically woven into the fabric of his purpose. From the moment of our conceptions, we are divinely ordained with a unique destiny, carefully crafted by the hands of the Almighty. God's plan is not 
a mere coincidence or a random sequence of events. It is a deliberate and thoughtful design rooted in his love and wisdom. The connection between God and man is one of profound intimacy. He is not a distant and disinterested creator, but a loving father who is deeply involved in every aspect of our lives. His plan for us is a testament to his unwavering commitment to our well-being and eternal salvation. Throughout the Bible, we find numerous examples of God's plan unfolding in the lives of individuals, showcasing his providential hand at work. In the book of Jeremiah 29:11, we read, For I know the plan I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. This verse emphasizes God's intention to bring about a future filled with hope and prosperity for each of us. Similarly, in Proverbs 16.9, it is written, In their hearts humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. Now, here we are reminded that although we make our own plans, it is ultimately God who directs our steps, ensuring that His purpose prevails in our lives. Furthermore, in Ephesians 2.10, it is stated, For we are God's handiwork, created in Jesus Christ to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. This verse underscores the notion that we are God's masterpiece, crafted with a specific purpose in mind and called to carry out good works that He has predestined for us. It is critical for us to recognize that God desires for us to embark on a journey through life that aligns with his divine plan. He calls upon us to surrender our will to his, to trust in his guidance, and to seek his wisdom in every decision we make. By embracing his plan, we can experience a life that is rich in meaning, a life that is rich in fulfillment, one that is rooted in his grace and mercy. Therefore, Let's not delay any longer. Let us commit ourselves to seek God's plan for our lives, to trust Him in His unfailing love, and to follow His divine guidance. Today marks the beginning of a journey towards the fulfilling of God's purpose for each one of us. May we embrace this calling with open hearts and with an open mind and allow His plan to unfold in our lives bringing us closer to Him and to the abundant life that He has promised us. Join me on the road as we follow God's plan. Amen.